So when taking the cube root of 54, um, as, as you guys remember from when I was talking about square roots, I really don't like using prime factorization. All right? To me, it's very time um, consuming. However, it's a process that always, always works. Always, always works. So it's very helpful in that regard. All right? um, however, I always prefer, just like with square roots, is to find square numbers that you can divide to. So when we're talking about cube roots, you want to find cube numbers. And what's nice about simplifying cube numbers is there's not that many cube numbers that you're going to be working with. 2 cubed is 8. 3 cubed is 27. 4 cubed is 64. 5 cubed is 125. 6 cubed is 216. But unless you're dealing with some really, really high numbers, these are pretty much basically going to be your major numbers that you guys are going to be dealing with. All right. Hence why I already have these memorized, because we don't really get up to 7 cubed, 8 cubed, 9 cubed. We do for square roots, but not really for the cube numbers. So when I'm looking for this, if I want to simplify cube root, yes, we could prime factor 54. There's not a problem with doing that. However, I always think it's simpler or easier to be able to determine which of these numbers, is any of these numbers divis, um, divide into 54? 27. Yeah, 27. And it goes in there? Twice. So what I can do is rewrite this as a cube root of 27 times 2. Now I know the cube root of 27. That's 3 times the cube root of 2. And I can't simplify the cube root of 2, so that's just going to remain as 2. OK? Hello.